once again. This is gonna be a bunch of short videos. Sorry. Uh, again, I like to take this brush. I just washed it. It is the MAC 212 brush. And what I like to do after I fill in my eyebrows is I like to um, clean them up to make sure that they're even, especially because I have a scar on one eyebrow. And what I like to use is uh, Max Paint Pot. It's Max Paint Pot in the color Paint Turley. And I use this to clean up my eyebrows. So, what I do is I just clean them up. Let me use a mirror so I can do this. And I do strokes downward. Because what I do is, I also use this paint pot to um, prime my eyelids to um, do my eye makeup. Stroke it down. And that's how my eyebrows look, everyone. So that how, that's how that looks. So... Then I just I'll just use the same brush and um, color my eyelids with this paint pot. That's what I like to do, like so. Then the next thing I like to do is I also like to um, put a base on it. I'll put um, a white base to make that the to make the eyeshadow color actually. Um, be true to the pan, to the color that you see in the pan. Because, you know, my skin color isn't completely white. So, there we go. Prime my eyelids. The next step is to give it a base coat. And what I like to use is... My NYX Jumbo Pencil, if I can find it. And I can't find it. So give me one second. Promise that I won't drop this uh, video again. Okay, I cannot find that um, Jumbo Milk Pencil. So what I'm going to use is this Age Rewind Dark Circle Concealer. And just put that on my eyes. To make the eyeshadow color be more true to its color. Because, if you see, made my eyebrow more opaque. I mean, my eyelid whiter. You see? So, just dab it on like so. And. Spread it over your eyelid like so. And I like to do my eye makeup before I finish my face makeup. Because, you know, sometimes the eyeshadow tends to, um, you know, flake on your face, I guess you could say. Alright, so now, first things first. The first thing I like to do is put a base coat on to um, a transition shade. I like to put a transition shade um, so that the rest of the colors can blend easily on your eyelid. So I like to use um, I, I'm going to be using my um, I have this travel case here. From It Cosmetics, it is a set of makeup brushes, brings a powder brush, a eyeshadow brush, a crease brush, a foundation brush, a concealer brush, and an, ang winged, an angled liner brush with a spoolie on the other side. So, we'll get our um, eyeshadow brush. Make sure it's clean. 
Okay. All right, so I will be taking this palette here that I have from MAC. It is the Warm Neutral Eyeshadow Palette the, in the 15 shades. And um, I'll be taking um, this shade right here, which I think it is called... One, two... There's one, two, three, four, five across. So one, two, three, four, five... Um, it is called Brulee. This shade here is called Brulee. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here, tapping off the excess, and just rubbing this uh, all over my eyelid. I like to do it from the brow bone all the way to the bottom. I like to um, apply this eyeshadow to uh, make the rest of the colors blend more evenly. And we'll do that on the other eye. And, um, that's what I like to do right here. All right. So, the next color that I'll be using is from the Carly Bible palette that I have here. I ordered this on BH Cosmetics. And it is an eyeshadow and highlighter palette. It has 14 eyeshadows, and it also comes with a mirror. So these are the eyeshadows here, and these are the four highlighters right here. So I like to take this brush that I got from Coastal Sense. I got this actually in an Ipsy bag. It's from Coastal Sense, and it's an angled um, crease brush. And what I like to do is I like to use this shade right here which um, I'm not sure what it's called, but I like to take this shade right here on the top row next to the la last one. I'll take some of that eyeshadow, dab it off, and I like to put the, the, uh, the bigger side of the angle towards the bottom of my crease, and then just, you know, in a... What windshield wiper motion back and forth put that into my crease like so and we'll do that using this one right here And this is the look that I'm going to achieve today Let's do the other one Then I like to turn it Turn it so that the bigger side is in the inside of your eye. And just finish getting it all the way around. This is just what I like to do. You could do it however you want. But I like to get the whole crease with some of this color. Then what I like to do is I like to get a pointed um, crease brush. And um, this is a shadow crease brush from Crown Brush as well. No, the other one was from Coastal Sense. I'm sorry. This is from Crown Brush. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and what I like to do is, with this tip here, I like to take some of this, this color here. And I'm going to focus it in a triangle shape at the tip of my eye. Okay. Alright, so again, sorry. I like to take this color right here, and I like to focus it in a triangular shape on the outer edge. So that's what I'm going to do here now. Just right here in the end. Like that. And focus it into the crease, like so. I'm going to do it on the other side. It's just to deepen the the outer crease area. Then I take a blending brush, which um, I'm going to be using this cr pointed crease blending brush here. And it's from Crown Brush as well. And it is the C412 Deluxe Pointed Crease Brush from Crown Brush. And I like to, actually, and it's kind of domed, so it, you'll know how to set it on your eye. 
and just blend that in so the colors blend in a nice flow and it doesn't look too, you know, too much on the end. Let me put a little bit more right here, like so, and blend it in. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, in a windshield wiper motion, windshield wiper motion, like that. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm kind of bored. Alright, next thing's next. Um, I like to put like a pinkish color, I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to actually use this shade here, which is called Ginger Snap. Now... I am going to actually be using this brush from my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I'm going to be using this, um, I don't know what it's called, you know, the brush where you could pack, make eyeshadow on, whatever it's called, that's the one I'm using, the one that you use to pack eyeshadow on. I'm actually going to spray it with some setting spray to make the pot color more true to its color and I'll take some on to the brush like so and then I'm just gonna dab it onto my eye just dab it onto my eyelid like so and I like to focus that right on the center of the lid like so and from inner corner to the outer corner, I will be packing that on. And then do the same thing on the other eye. I'm actually going to have to spray it some more with some more setting spray. Grab some more eyeshadow. And... Pack some more of that onto my eyelid like so. Just like that, guys. And uh, let's show you how that looks so far. Can you see it? That's how it looks so far. I'll show you the, the end result in better lighting. So you can actually see how the colors look the way I'm seeing them. So, just pack some more on like that. Then what I like to do is I like to go in with a lighter color in the corner to make that pop. And the color that I, I'm like obsessed with this one right now. What I've been using If I can find it, don't tell me I lost it. I'm going to be so sad if I don't know what I did with it. Maybe it's in this makeup bag here. And it is. Thank you, Jesus! All right. So what I like to use is this right here. It's a eyeshadow from MAC. And it is in the shade called Floof Frost. If um, Well... You see that? Floof. See that? I hope you did. Anyways, I'll be listing all the products that I used at the bottom. So 